Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel Park and I'm a full-time musician who for the last 13 years started performing at open mics and then bars and restaurants in a small town to performing in Las Vegas and now performing in high-end hotels and cruises all over the world. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step guide or overview on how to become a full-time performing artist based on my years of experience. So I'll start with a short story of how I got to this point. I started playing violin while I was just five years old, and I did orchestra throughout my middle and high school days. I also started playing guitar just for fun and at church. In college, I played guitar a lot more and started singing more, and also played violin in a few rock bands. After graduating college with my engineering degree, I also got a traditional job as a starting engineer, but I never really enjoyed going to the office. During this time, I started going to open mic night every Tuesday. And this is when I started challenging myself to learn a new song every week so I wouldn't be performing the same two songs every time I went to the open mic night. So one night, a manager of a local restaurant saw me performing at the open mic and invited me to start performing every Thursday at the restaurant. This was the start of something new and fresh and paved the way for me to quit my job as an engineer because the pay was about $150 for about three hours plus tips. But soon enough, I had other bars and restaurants asking me to perform other nights of the week. So soon I was performing four nights a week. I'm making an average of $800 to $1,000 a week doing something that I love doing though. After about a year or so working like this, learning a new song every week, performing at open mics and playing gigs, this had allowed me to quit my engineering job because I was making more, just as much money as I was as an engineer but playing music instead. And so I was singing cover songs. I was only singing cover songs. And so I'm gonna share with you the necessary steps I did to perform cover songs and to get gigs, paying gigs. <laughs> so step one is to know your instrument. And this is important. If you can accompany yourself with a guitar or piano, that is amazing. But if you are a singer and you play the backing tracks, that can work also, but it's important that you are comfortable enough to play your instrument or whatever you do in public. Now it's time to really put in the time to get two songs really polished enough to perform live, which brings us to step two. This is where you will learn two cover songs that you like. You might have learned the guitar part or the piano part of a song that you liked, but never really quite sat down and finished learning the entire thing. So now is the time to just Practice that one song over and over again, and then pick another one. So that's two. Pick two that you can really put your full emotion and performance ability into. Practice only those two songs for the first week or so until they feel ready to perform in public. And this is why going to open mic is so important. You get used to being on stage only for a limited amount of time to showcase your ability. And this really takes us now to step three. And so once you are comfortable with your instrument and your performance, pick an open mic in your area. And most cities will have an open mic on a non-busy night like Sunday, Monday, or Tuesdays. And if you are in a bigger city, you may have many open mics to choose from. So you can start by exploring some of or all of them until you find the one that really fits your vibe. If you live in a smaller town or city and there isn't an open mic that you prefer, that's an opportunity for you to actually start one, but we'll get into that maybe in another video. But more important is the point that you find a weekly home where you can showcase what you have learned because you'll be learning a new song every week, which takes us to step four. Concentrate on learning a new song every week. This is the crucial step for growth in your music career. Everyone is busy with their lives. I understand that. So that's why I say only concentrate on practicing one single song a week. This will allow you to know the song really, really well and help you stand out at open mic every week. Every time you practice the song, improve one section at a time. This means I concentrate on only chorus for one day and then the next day I'll practice another section and then so on and so on. So once you have enough songs in your repertoire, you're ready to start looking for paying gigs, which is step five. Getting your first paid gig. So there's another reason why going to an open mic is really crucial to this step-by-step -step process. Not only will you meet other musicians in your area, you could also meet potential booking agents just like I did. 
Sometimes other musicians will also be booking agents or they might know someone who is one or they might need someone to fill in at their gig sometime because they got sick or they just needed somebody to fill in for them. So there's a lot of activity around an open mic that could potentially be useful for creating connections and possible opportunities for you. So you can also go online and see what other musicians uh, where they're performing in your area and reach out to those places directly with some samples of your live performances at open mics. This means you need to film your performances and put them on YouTube to share with your potential clients. All right, this is step six. You're going all in now. Now that you've got your first pay gig, you're on a roll. You can use this to start getting even more gigs or even private events on other days or evenings. But to go all in to being a full-time live performer, you must also look at your finances, right? So you gotta find the right balance that fits you. So for instance, if your monthly expenses are $2,000 a month and each gig you get pays $150, then you would need to perform about 14 gigs that month. Luckily, depending on where you live, you can also get gigs that pay better than that. Um, you can also receive tips. There's so many ways you can actually make um, a decent living doing this. Also, there are usually perks with, these t with this type of work too. You get free food, free drinks, um, things like that. And as you grow in this way, you can also make more and more money by creating more clients and more demand, which means you can up your prices. So the idea is to keep learning new songs and expand your performances to play more gigs, to get more experience, which in turn will get you more clients. So here are my final thoughts. These are my six steps to playing cover songs as a full-time job. I'll probably expand on all these with more videos um, if you guys want. I know this might not be for everyone playing cover songs, but I thought it would be important to share my process and how I did it and start a dialogue with anyone who's looking to be a cover artist. Maybe they're not songwriters, maybe they're not singer-songwriters, but you want to sing or just make some money on the side, just as a side hobby. Live music will always be a staple of many hotels, bars, restaurants, I mean, anywhere you go in the world. So why not be you? The key is to keep learning and stay consistent, learning new songs and performing so you get more and more experience. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button to help get this content reach more people like you. And to see more videos like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, cheers.